Getting rid of that monster was a relief. As well as disposing of that stone jaguar, of course. But we still weren't singing from the same sheet. We wanted to return to Spain with a shipload of gold. And you wanted to stay in El Dorado. But of course Cortez had to go and spoil the party, so to speak. The only way to stop him was to seal the entrance to El Dorado. Tulio finally had a plan that looked promising. What do you mean, finally? But first, we had to fill the water tower with water. We were taken to the water system by one of the local youngsters. Okay, hey guys, welcome to part six. Last time we uh, did some dilly-dallying with some spiders and a big lava pit. And now we are going to have a showdown with Zekel Khan, who got sent to Shibalba with his giant Dragua. This is the place. Out the way, little girl. God's coming through. Wait, Tulio. Maybe she can help us some more. Oh, yeah? Like the kid with the slingshot? Leave it to me. So, this is the water temple. Oh, yes. Good. So, where's the switch that turns on the water? The switch? Ha. What do you mean, ha? I mean, ha. You'll be lucky. The water temple is Zekel Khan's domain. Only he knows how to make the water flow. Come on, Tia, we're gods! We can figure this out. And there I was, thinking we were just a couple of ordinary guys. Beware. Even if you open the water gates and make the fountain flow, you will never escape the monsters that lurk within. Uh, monsters Monsters. Good. Nothing too serious, then. Come, Tulio. We have a city to save. Have a nice day now. Have a nice day now. Kids these days. Such imaginations. Well, this is just great. Where do we start? We don't have much time. We need to get the water flowing. I propose we split up and get on with it. Great plan, Tulio. I knew you'd think of something. We'll meet up later, yeah? Oh, dear. I hope he'll be able to cope on his own. And uh, this is apparently some sort of water thing that we've been brought to by a little youngster, which wasn't in the film. So this bit's completely unique and new. So if you haven't seen the film, this will be something new for you, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, Miguel. I've had enough of your impulsive actions. I can fix this on my own. Maybe this is Seco Khan's place from the film where you only really get to see him in his room where he's like concocting his giant jaguar scheme. He's got his big jaguar statue inside. So, it operates a trapdoor. And he's like, we need more body. And he just chucks that dumb henchman in. Poor guy. Can we get up there somehow? Oh, what's this? It seems to be a water gate. It must raise to let the water flow through. Okay, now we know. Sure that will come in useful. So we need someone to be at the top bit to turn that crank. Only the bearer of the sun gem may pass. I am clean out of sun gems. Well, you had better go and find one. Okay, so pretty simple. We need a sun gem. Oh, okay, we can go over here. What's that? There's a thing sticking out there. Some cogs on the wall, and what looks like space for more. So we need to collect cogs. I'm sure that will somehow guess a sun gem. Looks like a pump. I just need to work out how to get it going. Okay, so collect cogs, get sun gem, use trapdoor. Pretty simple so far. Oh, okay, what's that over there? There's... On this side, yeah. Only the bearer of the evil eye may pass. Okay, we have to collect another thing. Would one of my evil eye looks do? No. I wish Miguel's sister was here. She can look pretty scary. Okay, so let's go and have a look at what, where Miguel went. Because that might be some kind of help.
Okay, we were so tiny, I couldn't even, like, see us at first. Any of these... Interactable? No, okay. Oh, okay, there's something there. There's a cog just lying on the ground. So it looked like we need three or four. I'm not sure how many we're already in, if any. So we need like another three. Roundabout. Okay, there's a thing there that looks like we can do something with that. Over here, this thing. Another water gate. I need to think of something else. Okay. So where does this go? Okay, we have another trapdoor room. Oh, okay, is that an evil eye? That statue with one eye? Not the prettiest of faces by a long way. Interesting eyeball, though. That eye is wedged tightly in its socket. It would take... Okay, so it would take a lot of prizing out, he said. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, and there's another cog there. I think that might be all this room is really useful for. Another cog! Hmm. Cool little, like, statue area. Okay. Now there's a thing over there. Is that another cog? A mosaic on the wall! Can we put a cog in? I kinda like the cog. Okay. So maybe the thing that we get out of that evil eye, or uh, out of one of them rooms when we open it, we can put into that maybe? I'm not sure what the kind of relevance of that is right now. And then maybe just having two will be enough to make something happen? It fits like a glove. Well, like a cog anyway. Click. Hey, this is fun. So, actually, I think we only need one more. Which we've probably gone past, but I just didn't notice it, which is annoying. We could have a look down here. If you'll turn. Can we go out this way? We can. Talk to this kid. Hi there. Hello. Just checking up on you. It's a jungle out here. So they say. I'll be going back then. Oh, that looks like a cog to me. Can we not just... What? Something's embedded. Is that another cog? God damn it, we're right there. I guess it's like I haven't played Resident Evil 2, like on the PlayStation. Because imagine having controls this annoying and fighting zombies at the same time. I would just, I'd end up just smashing it by the end of it, I think. I thought we were interacting with it, but thinking back, we must have just been interacting with the, uh... Whoa! The mosaic, rather than the... What on earth? ...cog underneath it itself. Why? This is... a gemstone, carved into the shape of the sun. Be worth a few pesetas when I get it back to Spain. So that's our sun gem. Hey! Now that didn't happen before! We have like a statue of one of his mini jaggers. That's kind of cool actually. 
Oh, what's that? Gold item? Not the thing. Yeah, I guess we just go up to it and pull it. That's a lever behind those bars. Hmm. Oh, shit. Do we die? Oh, where am I going? Positive mental attitude. That's what all this is about. That too, Leo. Now, what am I actually going to do? So, we'll go through here. And we'll prize this out with his sword, because I'm guessing he'll still have it. Yep. He looks even uglier with only one eye. So we'll take this back to that initial room. I'm guessing it'll bring us out there and then we'll be able to open it up. Hello? And then it would make sense if there's a Jaguar each, since there's two trapdoors and there's two of us. That looks like a water gate. Yes, it does. I could probably move it, but there's no handle. I'd need to use something as a lever. Ah, I see. Okay, I'm going to be something through here. Yep, totally, there's another one. So where, what's, what we want to use is this handle then. Something over here. Sword? I should have thought that before. Just great! He looks pretty angry! I'd better run for it! So, I'm guessing we don't use this one here, but we keep running through to... Shit, shit, shit! Oh god, these controls! Why is this sort of thing always happening to me? It's just gotta be Miguel's fault! Oh fuck, we're never gonna get through this room without getting caught. Oh my god! Shit, it was close! Did it shout? What? What's the correlation between dropping a cat into a hole? Phew, that was a close one. Okay, try to stay calm. Don't panic. Just run for it! Oh my god, that was a sweet one. I knew it was coming up so I'd left, left, left. Shit. We are dead. Okay, same again, we just did it, we're fine. No, 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 no! I need to spend more time at the gym! I like the thought of like old timey 1500s gyms, that's just funny to me. Pull that fucker! Oh, it's not much of a yell, it's just like a... A triumph of hope over desperation! Now, onward! I must find Tulio and get this old place popping water! It's weird that there's two here, like, unless... Alright, I'm assuming something's gonna follow us the other way at some point, and then that's when we have to pull the other one. So I guess now we get the water wheel working? So if we use a sword here, there we go, and then go to the main, because I'm guessing this one's the one that's got like the big blockage where all the water's building up behind it. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have the gem, so where are we going to put it? Is it something to do with this thing that it's gone? No. Maybe like back in one of the other rooms? Oh, 
Oh, this one. I forgot about that one. Is that it? That's all of the water gates open. But where has Tulio gone to? So I'm going to go back to that water pumping room. And if he's not in here, or if nothing really happens, then I'm going to go outside and talk to the kid. Oh, there you go. Tulio! Miguel! You wouldn't believe what just happened. There was a, a terrible stone jaguar, and it chased me around the building. Then I trapped it in a pit, and... You managed to do that? Well, hey, it was easy. Are you crazy? It was terrifying! One jumped on me when I tried to get to this lever in here. There's a lever? Let me have a look. Be my guest. Okay, so we're going to use our sword for that as well. It sounds like someone having a piss. <laughs> Tulio, we're alive! Hooray! Hooray! I think we're going to have one more encounter. And we'll trap it in the other pit. What? What? Oh, um, nothing. This place is spooking me. Okay, that was random. This place is spooking me. To the elder waters flowing. Great! Now let's get out of here. We need to finish Cortez. Okay. We did it! As if there was ever any doubt. We are gods. Where's Tulio? Now you must finish the job. Come on, Tulio, there's no time for goodbyes. Water Tower will soon be full. You have a wave to catch. We save the city of gold from falling into the clutches of Cortez. And how we lost a fortune, of course. Hmm, there is that. But there are more important things than wealth. Such as? A beautiful sunset, the company of friends, a healthy body, honest toil, adventure. Listen, Miguel, if I find out it was you that lost the other paddle... Relax, Tulio. Just enjoy the weather. 
Never mind the weather, it's your turn to paddle. Okay, here we go. Steady about. I've told you a million times, Miguel. The sun sets in the west, Spain is to the east. And I've explained a million times, Tulio. It all depends which side of Spain we're on. The world's round. <laughs> And there you go, there you have it, that is Golden Glory, The Road to El Dorado, it came out in 2000 to accompany the film, which is great, can't recommend that you watch it enough, because they kind of literally gloss over basically everything. So because I haven't explained any of the story, Tulio is like happy to go, but Miguel wanted to stay with the, uh, the El Dorados, the El Dorados, whatever, with Chell, who you guys wouldn't have even known if you haven't seen the thing. But she's like a native that uh, Tulio kind of gets jiggy with. And he decides to leave with all the gold because him and Tulio helped them defeat Zekel Khan. And the reason that they're closing this up is because Zekel Khan has been spotted leading Cortez, who's the guy who owned the ship that we never saw either. Uh, who's the guy who owned that ship that we were caught on earlier where we found Altivo. So he's trying to leave and they're trying to destroy the waterfall that they came in on, which you saw in that cutscene or in the, the film cutscene, whatever, I don't know what you call it, uh, earlier. So that's basically uh, what's happening here. And I worked out, well not worked out, but my guess is that due to copyright, that's where they can't have like a lot of the voices and they can't have a lot of the actual music from the thing. Which is why it's so weird, because having seen this film like a gazillion times, knowing like what sound beats are where, having this to like watch back and it's got like different sound it's really weird half of that game was essentially getting there and then what it was like two or three uh, missions or parts were just about actually being in the city so it was kind of yeah a lot that they they missed so i definitely say do yourself a favor and go and check it out and to be honest i don't think there's much more to say than that i do have some more ps1 games in the pipeline that i want to do because we usually have like stuff from the past five years as i said in one of the earlier episodes so if you kind of enjoy the more retro feel, I do have a list of like PS1 games I want to get through. So that includes stuff like uh, Spider-Man and Dino Crisis and Tomorrow Never Dies and The Emperor's New Groove. I've got Monsters Inc. as well, but it's fucking terrible. Uh, but that might be one to do sometime ever. But yeah, loads of stuff that are possible options. If you have like a specific one, even maybe hit me up and be like, do you have such and such? And I'll see if I do, and if I do, then I can try and do that. Oh my god, look at that, that's cool. We've got the Jaguar just chilling there for some reason. And I liked how they actually included, oh my god, Josephine's there. I, I liked how they actually included Chell in that final uh, cutscene, because she was like never mentioned, and you wouldn't even know who she was or why she was there if you hadn't seen the film. And it's kind of cool that they actually even included her, because I thought it was just gonna be them two on that little shack raft, whatever the hell you want to call it. So yeah, as I was saying, any of them PS1 games that you like the sound of, that you think that would make for a good playthrough, or you just haven't seen and you want to see what it's like, let me know in the comments. So, I've waffled on for long enough. That was Golden Glory, The Road to El Dorado. I hope you've had fun. I had fun. I think that was like six parts, so it was pretty concise. I think overall it only took like three and a half hours to do the whole thing. Uh, so, pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So what's left to say is that was Golden Glory, The Road to El Dorado completed. I'm Nukes Plays. Thank you for watching and uh, join me next time for the next game, whatever that may be. So I'll see you guys down the road. Thanks for watching, stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, guys.